What is happening guys? It is Daniel Lodz1989. Welcome back to the Hurryford United career. This is episode 38. Now, in the last episode, it was okay. We got a win against Reading, we got a draw against Fulham, quite possibly the goal of the season from Tommy Doyle, and then we got destroyed by Brighton, but we expected that. So, today's episode, I want to start getting on the good end of the results. We have... Portsmouth at home, that is going to be a difficult game. We have Huddersfield away, another difficult game. And then we have QPR away, probably the hardest of the three today. So let's just have a look. So Huddersfield are with us in 17th. So Huddersfield, QPR and Portsmouth. Let's have a look where all three are. They're all above us. So Huddersfield are above us in 17th. QPR are up in 5th. And Portsmouth are up in fourth. So they've got 21 points each. Lost three games each. Drawn three games each. And won six games each. So Huddersfield looks the more likely game that we will win. Um, around our level. They've lost more. Uh, they've lost one more than we have. But we've drawn two more than them. So, And they've won one more than us. But Huddersfield looks the more likely of the games that we will win. If we can beat Portsmouth and we can beat... QPR, happy days, but we shall see how we get on in today's episode. Anyway, let's not waste any time. Edgar Street Stadium. Right then, guys, the first played game of the episode. We are at home, we have Portsmouth, and we are at the Edgar Street Stadium. I'm really hoping that even though as high as Portsmouth are, Portsmouth are really a League One side. I'd say pushing a championship side, but they're doing very, very well for where they are in this career mode so we're certainly not going to end, underestimate them we're certainly going to push them and try and get a, a, I want a good early goal try and sit and then just counter attack them and see if we can get a second so as you can see here they're up in fourth and they've had quite a good start to the season they've got that um, playoff spot and obviously we're down at the bottom end of the table so we need to certainly pull our finger out in this game and start playing how we did early in the season really so we'll have a look at our lineup how we line up and kit change today guys even though we're at home we are in our away kit today because uh, Portsmouth's away kit is a white shirt with black and then white socks so there was a bit of a kit clash so we've had to play in our away colours even though we're at home today shouldn't make a huge difference um, but yeah wait for our lineup and then we will get cracking. So, we line up today. Griffiths in goal. Bale keeps the position at right back. Wilson keeps the position at left back. I've gone Alphonse and French. Centre back positions. I've gone Adam and Hurst today in centre defensive midfield. O'Reilly needs to pull his finger out and Cam not been brilliant of late. Uh, Anthony on the left. Gallagher up top. And Paslak on the right. So, I'm hoping we can get some sort of a result here. About 10 minutes gone here, guys. Free kick for offside against... Sam Gallagher and just a figuring out stage the first 10 minutes passing it around trying to ping people in behind the usual stuff and a bit of a lunge there at Bale's ankles but tries to get it down the line not a very good pass into Passlack and they are pressing here and thankfully French gets it but he almost gives away an early goal he took it under his wing and then he just pinched it there the Portsmouth man and he's hit the side netting Portsmouth again trying to come forward, trying to figure out our back line and Bale with another good tackle. Here's Passlack, needs some support here. Bale continues his run, I'll use him. You know he's quick, so he should be able to outpace this full back here, which he does if he can get a good crossing towards that back post. Anthony is there, gets the head on it, and he doesn't get a clean connection. And our first chance has gone to waste. Here's Hurst. Over to Alfonso, just going to try and send this towards Passlack if I can. Really good pass into feet and he controlled it well, but there's a foul there. Could be a yellow card here for the Portsmouth man. Just a warning. Go straight through the back of Passlack, see if we can create something from the free kick here. I'm just going to send it towards the penalty area. See if I can get Sam Gallagher on the header. He does get the header in, but not on target. There's Wilson. Plenty of support in midfield. Chooses to go to O'Reilly, O'Reilly decent pass forward to Sam Gallagher, around the corner again to O'Reilly, he couldn't ride the challenge but it's fallen to Anthony, here is Sam Gallagher if he can get an effort away which he does, 
straight into the keeper's gloves. Throw it straight out though, straight back to Adam. Try and go around the corner to O'Reilly if I can. See if I can get some space to hit another one. He does hit another one. This time it's wide. Just before half time here, guys. Two minutes added on. Trying to get something before the half time break onto Hurst. See if I can send that round the corner to Anthony. That's a lovely through ball by Hurst, and we do get in front before half time. What a through ball that was by Hurst. He just saw the gap in between the centre back and the full back, and he puts it in. Anthony, obviously, with his pace gets in the gap and he puts a beautiful finish in the bottom corner look at that for a ball just sits it perfect way to pass and Anthony from that position on his favoured left is never missing just before half time guys and we get 1-0 in front against a playoff position team it should be half time and is into the second half we go and I think we had the better half though guys chances at both ends and We'd taken our chance just before half time to get us in front. Very good tackle by Wilson, though. Maybe able to get in front here if I can ping Sam Gallagher over the top. It falls back to O'Reilly. Here's Adam pushing forward. I'll use O'Reilly again. See if I can get Sam Gallagher in behind. It went to Anthony and play will continue. Portsmouth coming forward here. Some decent passing. Bale's got some defensive duty to do. He gets a tackle in, but he's only put it further in front for the cross. But Alfonsi stops that. The cross still comes in. Wilson gets a good foot in. Pasquat trying to get the header in. The pressure's really on here. They've got a few men in and around our box and he needs to get up there, Wilson, for the header. Thankfully, Portsmouth man heads over. Portsmouth breaking forward here down this near side and Hurst did track him back well, but that's a really good through ball to get them in. Trying to get the block in. What a block that is by the captain French. When we need him, he's definitely there. I'm going to bring Hurst off, he's had a very good game, but I'm going to bring Tommy Doyle on, who had a fantastic um, episode, the entire last episode, he was brilliant, I'm thinking about starting him permanently ahead of Hurst, as Hurst gets a lot more tired than he does, but we'll see, into Griffiths' gloves, thankfully, just making another change here guys, Paslak on, uh, Paslak off, and Rodriguez on. Again, Portsmouth trying to push forward, and that's a loose ball. Tommy Doyle picks that up, and then Adam gives it straight back to him. French trying to stand strong. You got a ball in round the corner, and they have equalised. 80 minutes gone, and just not very good defending here. I'm going to have to bring um, French off as he's tired now, and bring Silva on for his first game back after being injured, but... We just didn't defend properly. They got some short snappy passes in and around. They found the gaps. He's hit it first time. And to be fair, again, Griffiths should do better. It's straight at him, really. And Yeah, I think he's um, he's just not reacted quick enough. He'll try and win the header, though. He didn't win the header. He needed to, but he didn't. And he's on the run here, the, the winger for... Portsmouth, Alfonso's tried to pull over to stop the cross, the cross does come in and thankfully we get it clear with Bale and at 87 minutes they have a corner making a substitution as well we need to try and clear this and get it up the other end if we're going to get a win here and that's a really good flick, tried to put that over the top of Anthony's head, we still have possession and they have advantage as well, we're trying to get a tackle in, we do get a tackle in can we get the ball forward here's Adam this is probably going to be our one and only chance onto Rodriguez. Three minutes added on, guys. I need a decent run from Sam Gallagher. I have got one. Sam Gallagher needs to hit this with everything. He does hit it well. Can he get a header in before the keeper gets up? Doesn't. Two minutes of the three gone. It looks like it's going to be a 1-1 draw here. And three minutes have gone now. There's the final whistle. Who will take the point. Back at the menu then, guys. And... If I'm being brutally honest, I think we deserved the win there. I think if Griffiths had reacted a little bit sooner to that opportunity of theirs, he would have saved it and would have got three points. But we will take the point. And uh, Silver said is disappointed. Um, I need him back to 100%. Mate. He came on for the last 20 minutes or so, Silver, but uh, didn't really get involved in play. I didn't really get a chance to get involved in play. But we got a point. We are in 18th on 15 points, and did Huddersfield win their last game? Because I can't see if they were just above us, and I can't see them now. I think Huddersfield must have won their last game. They have, because they're up in 14th 
So a win against Huddersfield will take us up into 15th and obviously behind Huddersfield in 14th. So we definitely need three points away here. Here we are then guys in the second play game of the episode. We are away at Huddersfield. It's not going to be easy this. Um, even though that out of the three games that we're going to play today, Huddersfield look, look the more likely that we will win as we saw in the Portsmouth game. It only takes half a chance in the championship for you to get punished. So we need to be on the front foot, we need to be strong. And I've had to pretty much change the entire lineup. As you see, uh, Alexander in the, the lineup, the Banks in the lineup, Silver's in the lineup. We've had to pretty much change the whole team because the game against um, Portsmouth in the last one, th this game against Huddersfield was three days after. So we've had to change the entire squad. So this is how. Huddersfield line up. Let's have a see what formation they are running. They are running the 5 3 2. So, again, Brighton were running that and it was very attacking. But are they going to be attacking or are they going to sit and just counter? So, we have got pace on the field today, as you see by the last three Fernandez, Kirk Wilson, and Rodriguez, all the, in the strike positions, all three very quick. So we line up Bird in goal. I've switched Bird out for um, Griffiths today. Alexander right back. I've gone Thomas left back. Silver and Banks in the centre def uh, in the centre back positions. Centre defensive midfield Doyle and Adam with the captain armband. Wall in the cam position. Rodriguez on the left. Fernandez on the right and Kirk Wilson comes in in strike position. A change side, but still a strong side. Let's see if we can get three points against Huddersfield. Early chance here for Huddersfield, guys. They have themselves a corner just after the five minute mark. Pops in the box, he gets a head on it. What a save by Gordon Bird. He got a good glove on it, tipped it onto the post, and that is a brilliant save. Kirk Wilson might be able to get in on the counter attack here. We put him in. If he can turn and get an effort away, he's certainly got the space here. Kirk Wilson hits it, and from one end to the other. What has just happened? They get a corner at one end. Gordon Bird makes an absolute, just spectacular save. We go up the other end, we chip Kirk Wilson in, and Kirk Wilson does exactly what he does best and hits the back of the net. We're 1 0 up in this game. Really good pass out to the Huddersfield man wide. He got a chance here, maybe. Tries to come back inside. Doyle trying to track back also. Banks is in there. They do get the shot away. Gordon Bird takes that with ease. Huddersfield attacking us down the far side here. And as you can see, Adam there. He's picked up a bit of a knock, but Silver gets a really good block in there. Hopefully Adam's not injured. And that is an awful challenge. Yellow card for the Huddersfield man taking Doyle completely out there. And I might have to take Adam off here, guys. It's suggesting that I do take him off, but I'll leave it until half time and see what he's like. But nearly had to take Doyle off there because he got absolutely cleaned out. But yellow card, 37 minutes gone. Let's see if we can create something from the free kick here into Wall's feet around the corner to Adam. He's still got the knock sign, but hopefully he'll be okay. Fernandez, Wall's made me a really good run. If I can go around the corner to Kirk Wilson, can he make it to Kirk Wilson? He certainly can. Kirk Wilson living up to his name, super. Kirk Wilson I've put him in today because obviously Sam Gallagher is tired from last game and I keep asking myself why I'm not playing Super Kirk Wilson he comes up with opportunities like that and he just does not seem to miss we're 2-0 up approaching half time here guys as you can see 2 minutes added on Huddersfield have been very good in possession but we have been much better on the counter attack and taking our chances He's just holding possession, passing it in a round up to be fair. We've defended very, very well. Silver gets a block in there, try to get rid of that, but we can't. And thankfully, the half time whistle goes, and we go in 2 0 up. Into the second half we go, guys, and brilliant in the first half. Defended well, took our chances, and Super Kirk Wilson back in the starting 11 shows us why he should be starting every single game. Gordon Bird, goal kick, lofted forward. Can Super Kirk Wilson get ahead on it? He didn't. He fell to the Huddersfield man, but Wall will pick that up in midfield. And Doyle's made me a really good run here. We certainly know Tommy Doyle can hit them, so I will have an effort with him. And this one, he drags wide. 
again Huddersfield trying to put something together here to attack our back line and he's gone for a distant shot blocked out by Silva so happy to have him back in the starting lineup today he assured me that he was crucial to the team but we're on a counter attack here Rodriguez has made me a decent run on the outside I've got two in the middle Wall and Kirk Wilson Wall hits it and he's absolutely skied it again Huddersfield trying to press us and getting a good tackle in there Thomas and they have a throw in on the far side they're also making another change thrown into feet here down the line got a chance to whip it across here um, they've just been very good in possession Huddersfield but they haven't done much with it as you can see there we've got a good tackling we might be able to get away on a counter attack here but very well done by their centre back to intercept Silver who's had a very good game so far gets another good tackling Banks needs to get a tackle in though or Alexander just anybody to try and stop them I don't want to lose this clean sheet Banks does really well there here's Adam can we try and get on a counter attack and Adam's run straight into a Huddersfield man and we can't win it here it's been a very physical battle in midfield as you can see by the tackles going in but I'll stay with the chance here because they look like they could get something if Thomas doesn't get the tackle in but he does can we get on a counter attack they pushed everybody forward to try and get a goal Fernandez has completely got free on the far side he's also got super Kirk Wilson in for his hat trick and there it is put him in the lineup today for Sam Gallagher as he was absolutely tired out Sam Gallagher and super Kirk Wilson has gone and bagged himself a hat trick let's have another look at that guys into Fernandez Fernandez could have quite happily um, took that but I saw super Kirk Wilson on the other side I can't deny a hat trick when he's on two goals and another great finish by the main man just making a defensive change here guys I'm taking Doyle off who's had a fantastic game and putting Hurst on just to see this game out for us with 10 minutes left to go almost the end of the game here guys Huddersfield trying to get in and he's only put that into the path of Adam we may be able to get another goal here on another counter attack with three minutes left we have been on fire today and I'd like to finish this game off and couldn't I didn't find the right pass towards Kirk Wilson I was looking for a fourth for him just to put the cherry on the icing on the cake really but never mind we'll keep all the possession passed it back to the goalkeeper there goes the final whistle and we could have had four or five today to be honest but super Kirk Wilson will collect the match ball for his first hat-trick of his career press conference after the game guys and as you know it was always going to be about super Kirk Wilson so I'm just going to have to praise uh, Wilson can just lead us to great things I'm just going to have to praise him because obviously Sam Gallagher coming out of the team today because he was tired Kirk Wilson comes in and comes up with a performance like that um, definitely our, our defending gave us the platform to build on because we defended brilliantly today so happy to have Silva back from injury because he was a godsend today he's certainly going to be French's replacement at the end of the season and possibly may even get the captain armband uh, a good win today were you pleased with the performance? I certainly were pleased with that performance I know we've got goals in us because we certainly have got goals in us as you guys know we've scored multiple high scoring games and that was just one of them so 3-0 against um, Huddersfield drags us up to 13th on 18 points as you can see here that's uh, Smith that's one of the uh, youths that we've brought through just changing his position to a centre back um, he was down as a CDM but he looks like more of a centre back being 6 foot 2 and he's gone up to six, uh, 61 rated so he might be somebody that we call up soon and the goalkeeper McNeil also um, doing well there but both positions are stronger at the minute so we won't utilise any of them just yet so QPR in the next game let's have a quick look where QPR are if you like QPR are, I like that and they are at the top end of the table I know they're up in third so we've had two positive results at the start of this episode can we make it three positive results as you can see we've had a draw against Portsmouth probably should have got the win we had an absolutely smashing game against Huddersfield probably should have had four or five and now we want a third positive result against QPR 
here we are then guys away at QPR the last played game of the episode and we have probably the toughest game of the three yet QPR away we got a draw in the first game we got a win in the second game thanks to super Kirk Wilson getting a hat-trick and taking that match ball home but this game is going to be a lot tougher um, QPR a very well rounded good championship team and always at the top end of the table to refer to them and we are away we're going to have to be on top form but to be fair obviously we're away the last game and we got a good result so Kirk Wilson will not start today I've started Sam Gallagher just for the strength I think uh, the last game pace was certainly something that came into a factor I think here it's going to be a strong midfield battle I need our stronger taller players but here is their lineup and that's how they will line up today let's have a look at what formation they are using they have got a 5-2-1-2 interesting should be plenty of um, space for our wide wingers to get into positions and then obviously narrowly down the middle we should be strong with French back in the starting lineup today so we'll have a look at our lineup. So we line up today. Griffiths uh, gets his place back in goal. Uh, Bale in the right back position. Wilson in the left back position. French and Alphonse at centre back. I've gone Adam and Hurst in the centre defensive mid positions. O'Reilly in the camp position. Anthony out on the left. Paslak out on the right. And Gallagher up top. So pretty much our standard starting 11. Well, can we get a result against near enough top end table QPR? It's Hurst in midfield, was challenged for the ball but did well to get it over to Adam. Going to play this into Gallagher if he can hold the ball. Well, just look for a pass back to Hurst. Go to Anthony and Wilson who are out wide here together. Try and drag this back with Wilson, see if we can get an early cross in. It doesn't, it falls to Anthony. He'll go to Hurst, drop this towards Adam. He's not the best to shoot with so I'll try and get it into Gallagher if he can try and turn and get an effort away. Which he does turn, gets an effort away. Good save by the goalkeeper early here. Sam Gallagher also showing us why he needs the start. Good early chance, broke away from the defender, gets a good shot in. It's a good save by the goalkeeper. Let's try and find Gallagher with his big head, but it looks like it's going to Alfonso who tries to get the head in. It's cleared away, and Bale should be able to get it back to the corner to keep it alive. Here's Anthony trying and whip that across. Ball's pinged out. Can Adam win the header? He certainly does, and I think Sam Gallagher was offside. Try and win that header with pass like he did well though to win the header over to Bale, Let's drop it back to Adam, we've had some early possession here and comfortably passing the ball round even in even in this uh, game right here is that a handball? to be honest I went to dink it with Sam Gallagher and I think it's hit the defender's arm, let's have a quick look, I was going to dink it towards that back post and he has, he's put his arm out, it's handball here guys, we've got an early penalty, we've had early possession We've got an early penalty, and I'm certainly not taking it with Anthony because we always miss with Anthony. So, pass like looks like he can take certainly a good penalty. I'm just going to try and go in this top right corner, put a bit of power on it, and hopefully, pass like will put us 1 0 in front, which he does. We wanted an early goal, we wanted a good performance. We've got a penalty and converted by pass like inside 20 minutes. Yeah, coming forward, decent ball down the middle, he gets a good effort away and thankfully for us, that's wide of the target. Again QPR trying to work it and again trying to come more down the middle, I did think they'd be narrow and it does seem like they are being very narrow but they get another shot away here, he's got the header and that was so close to an equaliser, it was a, a rebounded header and Bale should have got up and been a lot stronger, he didn't get the Bale, they got the and just wide of the mark QPR passing it round well and Adam intercepts that very well just try and send that back to Adam I've got Paslak on the run here just try and send him round the corner now I'm going to try and pull this back into O'Reilly if he can find the dink over the top to Anthony and wasn't successful in the pass but Hurst wins that header try and go round the corner to Paslak playing much better in this game Bale's come forward now give it to Bale, try and drop it to Paslak hopefully he can put one towards the back post where Anthony's waiting with the header and Anthony's made it too against top, near enough top of the table QPR and we have continued our goal scoring form I worked that really well, I was patient I waited for the chance and Anthony we know is so reliable from that back post situation 
I just laid it in. Brilliant cross from Paslak, and Anthony gets up with a brilliant header right across the goalkeeper to make it 2 0. Almost creeping up to half time here, guys, and keep, yeah, keeping hold of the ball well. Got a good pass from the corner here. They've just tried to flood the midfield with players and trying to break our back line with any sort of through ball, just like that one. And Alfonso should have got a better block in, thankfully, to Griffiths. It remains at 2 0, as you'll see. Alfonso went to get the block in here. He did get the block in. I didn't think he did. I thought it was off Griffiths' gloves, but Alfonso actually got the block in, so. That was a good do by him. We'll try and get rid of this. Sam Gallagher up for the head. It's dropped to him at the edge of the box. Turn volley. That was a cracking save by Griffiths. Thought Griffiths did the last save. That was an even better save. Turned. It was up in the air. He volleys it very cleanly. Sam Gallagher on, on the floor with Adam and Griffiths. Gets a really good glove to it to knock it out for another corner. And this will probably be the last bit of action for the first half they've got the chance here passing it around well in the box shot comes in it's off the post we survive 2-0 at half time into the second half we go guys and obviously the penalty decision was the big decision early and then Anthony goes and gets a second through a header but they're not for the ones from trying they've hit the post they've had some really good distance shots and they have looked deadly and they've looked like scoring which they might actually do from the kickoff here, but thankfully Paslak gets control of that. Genki, yeah, coming forward. Got so many players in and around that midfield area, but Hurst gets a good tackle and then he gives his pass away. But plenty of men in front of the ball for us. And he's gone over the top of Wilson there. He brought that down, it's a really good touch. Hurst trying to get the tackle in here. He got some sort of tackle, but not good enough. Wilson. Gets a good tackle in. Again, they still have possession. We, we haven't cleared this properly and we certainly need to before the shot comes in. French, round the corner. And he gets the effort away. Bale, can he get it away? Oh, our clean sheet is still intact for now, but the ball comes back in. Adam gets another good block in. Defensively, we are standing strong. And thankfully, we get it away. Again, good shot. Snappy passing by QPR. Trying to get the man in behind we have a few options and that was a really good one and I think Alfonsi has given away a free kick yeah, I thought that was a foul see Alfonsi here tripped him but he got his shot away I think they should have had a free kick I think Alfonsi has got away with one again QPR breaking forward here they've really tried to pressure us here in this second half and he's got himself some space Alfonsi needs to get a block in and again they challenge our goal but not on target I'm going to take Hurst off guys and put Doyle on QPR have themselves a throw on the far side just trying to push Anthony on here and trying to keep the pressure on so that they make a mistake like that that Doyle will certainly win that header dropped it towards Adam I'm going to try and go into O'Reilly he's got the space to shoot here O'Reilly it fell nicely for him and he's scruffed his chance here's Doyle in midfield over to Wilson just go into Sam Gallagher if he can keep hold of the ball but pressed out of it sandwiched by two players I should have passed it off a lot quicker QPR could be on some sort of a counter attack here Adam went in to tackle but thankfully Wilson gets the tackle in I'll try and get it to Anthony down the line it's a really good ball into Anthony if I can get it to O'Reilly but good tackle by the full back to bring it into midfield there's only five minutes left here guys if they're going to get something they need to push forward now but we certainly need to defend a lot better Pass like chasing back doing his job he's been brilliant today certainly my man of the match today Pass like he's been very very good three minutes left here guys and I'm hoping that this won't turn into a chance for them French needs to stand strong gets a good tackle in French I'll just clear this away with Wilson and won the header there by Sam Gallagher O'Reilly's continuing his run if I can send it down the line to him and Sam Gallagher is in the middle if he can get his head on this he might be able to get a third but cleared away and it's dropped into Anthony maybe it hasn't dropped in two minutes left of added time there goes the whistle guys and we get a win against QPR here we are back at the menu then guys and as you can see Paslak taking the headlines certainly the man of the match today um, scored the penalty to get the goal uh, assisted Anthony's goal he was brilliantly got back and did his defensive duties he was fantastic today and well deserved 
three points. As you can see here, up into ninth place after 15 games, we have 21 points. I wanted to be in and around mid-table. I said I would be happy, and I am absolutely ecstatic with that. We've had a hat-trick from Kirk Wilson today. Talk about Bemsin back. The last episode, we were terrible. Really struggling to get to grips with championship football. Today's episode, we bounce back twice as strong. So, in closing, thank you very much, guys. As always, drop me a big thumbs up. Leave me a comment <clears throat> and tell me about today's incidents. Tell me about Kurt Wilson's hat trick. Tell me about the performances. I think we've been much better. So, I will see you in the next one, guys. Take care. It's been Dana Lads 1989. Love you. Bye.